Hi guys, Mitch King with Trade Stocks America with the Wednesday morning's October 6, 2010 daily stock report. Here's the Dow 30 up 1.8%. All the indexes moved up on the adjustment of the currency for Japan as well as Brazil making adjustments to cool down their economy. This is substantial news that usually starts kind of a new wave of buying that could last several days, a week, maybe two weeks, but probably not that long. This is uh, fundamental news, and any type of news like this in this environment is viewed very positively. We're in a positive, bullish environment already the last month or so, and the market seems to be ignoring any of the more negative, fearful news that did cause some problems a couple months ago and different times throughout the last year. But right now the market's focusing on the positive and ignoring the negative, and this news from Japan on their currency and their interest rates going back down to zero, as well as the Brazilian government trying to cool their economy off in a way that doesn't create a huge bubble for them to pay a big price later. Here's the Nasdaq Composite, also made new highs, went above that high a few days ago, and the indicators are going to start pointing up, and the very first early ones are starting to show right there in that yellow stochastics on the percent K, which is usually the first to move, as well as one little tiny spike up on the MACD histogram. The S&P 500 today moved 2.1%, clearly a new high. Let's take a wider look at the S&P 500, and you can see back in April 24th we had that high, and we're heading up for that, probably move another 15 to 20 points on the S&P 500 this next week or so unless there's any new news. We do have the unemployment rate report forecast at 9.7 percent. That could cool off the market a little bit and create a little bit of selling depends on how bad the report is. Russell 2000 up 3 percent today. Big move. Good sign to see the small caps leading the larger cap stocks. Here's AZO up 1.1 percent. AutoZone looking good. Been strong all year. Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, also up 3.5% today, really strong. MGA up 3%, kind of head faked us in terms of thinking that that was going to pull back. Of course, a lot of stocks did that. Just did a real breakout, a very common term used in the industry that stocks are breaking out. And it's the indexes where across the board, many stocks look like that, started to be flat to pull back a little bit, and then just spikes up today. Here's VIT Vance Info, 1%er today on the upside. HMIN up 2.7%. Looks like we're going to probably break through here on this particular stock. We should start moving up to higher high. CRM finally started to get a little movement on this. Kind of a weak stock today, up 1.6%. This has been down for most of the last two weeks. So we got a little ways to catch up to that third week of September high right in here. GMCR, Green Mountain Coffee, also started moving today, up 3.2%. Got quite a ways to move up. I think this is going to get into low 30s fairly quickly. Here's MOTR, stopped out today, went up to a new high. Bull short was only good for about a day and a half, and it zoomed up to higher highs. So these are not working in this market especially the ones that don't have that increasing volume and has had a recent IPO on this. Here's Mall, corrected down another 5.8% today, so this is a big, big winner on this. If anyone's still short, this has probably got another day on the downside, but today's probably got the sweet spot in terms of covering that short. Uh, CRIC, China Real Estate, down 1.5% today, really slow mover. Get a little nervous on these when they take so much time to come down, so... Uh, that should be taken off the stock list in terms of covering that short. Here's APKT starting to move up, as well as URBN, Urban Outfitters. So you guys know the routine. You take care. Don't get leveraged. Put the odds in your favor. Talk to you tomorrow night.